Hello guys, today we are going to learn about Prisma Migrate. By the end of this video, you will be able to create, customize and run your migrations using Prisma Migrate. I am in Remix project with Prisma installed. If you would like to know how to install Prisma in your Remix or Next.js project, please watch the video Add Prisma to Next.js App Router project. Prisma uses model entity first migration pattern, meaning that it creates migrations from its schema. So Let's first go ahead and define the schema for our project. We're going to open Prisma folder and schema.prisma. We will start with the obligatory users and posts. Let's go ahead and create model user and we're going to put the field ID. It will be integer and we'll put at ID and at default auto increment. At ID means that it's a primary key and default value will be auto increment. The next uh, field will be email, it will be string and it will be unique. Then we'll have name, which will be string as well, posts. And then we we'll also add created at, which will be date time and we'll have a default now value. And then updated at date time as well. And we're going to use Prisma's at updated at. So Prisma will uh, insert the updated at date when it updates the record. Right here, I'm going to put at at map users with a lowercase. That's how I would like to name my table because otherwise my table will be named uh, users with a capital U, but I like to name my tables or lowercase with underscores. So the next model will be post and again, ID integer, it will be primary key. So we put at ID and default will be auto increment. User ID field is will be integer. And then we're gonna have a title, which is string and then content, which will be also string and then a published will be boolean field and then we're going to define relationship to a user and a user id will be our foreign key and it will reference id on user stable so the next again we're going to put created at and updated at and then we're going to name our table as post with a lower case the models user and post are ready so let's go ahead and create those tables in a database let me show you my .env file. I'm connected to my database. It's called remix underscore Prisma. And let's go ahead and open the terminal. In order to run migration, we're gonna run npx Prisma migrate dev. Now it asks us what would be the name for the migration. We can call it create user, create users and posts table. And as you can see, migration got created and applied. So let's go ahead and take a look at the Prisma folder again. And now we have a migrations folder. In this folder, we have another folder called uh, create users and posts table right here with a timestamp. And then we also have migrations log.toml file, uh, which you don't want to mess around with. So it's going to keep track of the migrations. Now let's go and jump into the create users and posts table and we have a migration.sql file and it's just simple sql file so you have create table users here sql and create table posts let's go ahead and switch to table plus to see if those tables have got created and indeed we have uh, three tables one of them is users and then posts and we also have a Prisma migrations table, the same kind of in SQLize, there is a table where Prisma keeps track of the migrations. So let's go back to VS Code and let's say we need to add a new column, right? We wanna add it after content and we're gonna call it a summary, right? It also gonna be type of string and we want to have it as a small text, right? As you may have noticed, title, content, now, summary, they're all string, but in terms of MySQL, there are different uh, string types, right? Variable characters, text, tiny text. So in Prisma, you can have at DB, where you can actually specify um, particular for MySQL, which kind of uh, uh, type of string would you like, right? So in our case, I would like to have my summary as a tiny text. Let's go ahead and save the changes and you can see my file got nicely formatted. This is because I have Prisma extension installed in my VS Code. So go ahead and install Prisma extension if you're working in Prisma in the VS Code. So your schema.prisma file looks nice and it gets formatted. Now let's go switch to the terminal and 
run again npx prisma migrate dev and again it's gonna ask us for the migration name we can call it add summary column And again, our migration ran successfully. If we look at the migrations folder again, we got another folder called add summary column. And it also has a kind of timestamp right here. And if we go into migration SQL, we're going to see that we have an alter table statement and it adds a column summary, which is tiny text and it's not null. This is how you can create your migrations in development. However, if you're in production, you want to run all those migrations, right? And you're going to be running it with a command npx prisma migrate deploy. Now we're going to hit enter. Obviously, all our migrations are in. So it's going to say that um, two migrations found, no pending migrations to apply. And this is how you can use prisma migrate in your project. Unfortunately, this flow has drawbacks because we are unable to check and review our migrations and because it just creates and run it for us, right? And we also may have unexpected results. Let's go switch to table plus. We can go to the posts table, right? And let's go refresh it. And as we can see, the summary got added actually after updated it. However, we put it in our model after content. Another unexpected result may happen when you are renaming column, right? Prisma will actually drop the existing column and create a new one. So if you have data in your table, the data is going to be lost. So basically we need an ability to review and customize migrations before we run it. Let's see if we can improve on this flow to do exactly that. Let's go ahead and reset. Unlike SQLize, Prisma migrate doesn't have an easy way to roll back. So we will have to delete all our tables right here in the database. Now let's go back to VS Code. We're going to delete this summary column and we're also going to delete migrations folder. Let's go to package.json file and we're going to add a couple of scripts here. First, we are going to add migration create script. We're going to be running Prisma migrate dev with a flag create only. This will only create the migration for us and not run it. The next script will be migrate and now we're going to run Prisma migrate dev. And then we're going to have migrate column prod. This will use Prisma migrate deploy. This we can run in production. And we also add a seed script and we're going to run Prisma slash seed.js file that we're going to be using to seed data to our tables. Let's go ahead and quickly look at this file. So this file just basically inserts two users, Alice and Bob. And then those users have posts. Bob has two posts and Alice has one post. So let's go ahead and open the terminal and we can run npm run migration create. It's going to ask the name for our migration and we're going to call it again, create users and posts tables. It just created migration for us. So we have migrations folder in our Prisma folder again, and we have folder create users and posts table. So we can open it again. It's just the same as we had it before. We reviewed it and everything looks good and we can run NPM run migrate. And as you can see, migration got applied. So before we make any changes to our schema, Let's go ahead and seed the database, run the script npm, run seed, and this script seeded the database. Let's switch to table plus and check it. And in table plus, if we refresh, we're going to see users, posts, and again, Prisma migration tables. And if you click on the users, we can see two users here and the posts. We have three posts. Let's switch back to VS Code and make changes to our schema, or like they say in fancy terms, let's evolve our database. Let's go ahead and add summary column. It will be again string. And in Prisma, if you want to have your column nullable, allow nulls, so you can just put a question mark right here. And again, we'll put add DB uh, tiny text. Let's go ahead, save. 
open the terminal. I'm going to run npm run migration create. And it will ask us for the new migration name. We're going to call it add summary column. And now our migration got created. So let's go to migrations folder, add summary column, and we can see that we have right here alter table. So it says posts add column summary tiny text null. This, however, will add column summary at the end of our columns, but we want to have it after content. Prisma migrate create only gives you an advantage not only review your database migration, but also customize it. So let's go ahead and do just that. We're going to put after and we're going to put the column name. We want it content. All right, let's go ahead and save it. Now we're going to go ahead run npm run migrate. And summary column got added to posts table. Let's switch to table plus. We're going to refresh and we're going to see that the summary got added right after content the way we want it. Let's go back to VS Code. And as you can see, if we look at a summary column, right, we made a typo here. We put 1M instead of 2. The typos can happen, you know. Sometimes you put not nullable field, which you need to have a nullable, so you need to be able to fix it. And unfortunately, there's no easy to kind of roll back your migration in Prisma like you can do in SQLize. I could have just simply rolled back the migration, fixed um, summary, and migrated it again. Here in Prisma, we will have to create a new migration to fix it. Let's go ahead and add a double M in here. So we're going to save it open the terminal again. We're going to run npm run migration create. And it's going to ask us for migration name. We're going to call it updated summary column name. This created yet another migration. So let's go ahead and look at the updated summary column folder and we have a migration. However, as you can see, it's dropping column summary and adding column summary with a double M. This may not be what you want, especially if you have data in your database, even if in development losing like a few uh, records, you know, you'll have to create it again or reset it again. So you really don't want to do that. Besides the new column summary will not be added after content. So let's go and fix it because uh, my SQL has a rename command, right? That's uh, what we want, actually. So let's go ahead and put the following. I'm going to delete this. Instead of add a column, we're going to put two. And instead of drop, we're going to put rename column summary, right? Let's also go ahead and delete that comma and put everything on one line. Let's go ahead and save. And now we open the terminal and run npm, run migrate. And the migration ran successfully. Let's switch to table plus. We're going to check and we can see that the name got renamed to summary with a double M. Let's go back to VS code and make a couple more updates to our schema so you can have a feel how it works, right? So as I mentioned before, the string of uh, Prisma will just create you a variable character column, which uh, may not be long enough. So let's go ahead and update content to uh, text type. So we're going to put add DB and we're going to use text right here. Also, we can add index, right? So the way we can add index is to do add add index. And then it provides us with an array. So we want to, for example, search post by title. So we may want to add index to a title column. So let's do exactly that. Let's save the changes and let's go ahead and run npm run migration create and it's going to ask us for the name again we just simply call it updated posts table we hit enter again we're going to go ahead and open the folder we can look at the migration right here seems like um, 
you know, just altering posts and content is gonna be text and it's just creating index. So no unexpected results here. So let's go ahead and run this migration then. NPM run migrate. Let's go back to table plus on the bottom. We can select structure, right? In the structure, we can see now that the title is still variable character, but content now is text. Also, we can see the indexes on our posts table. We have a primary key index. Also, MySQL creates index on a foreign key. So you're going to have posts user ID foreign key. And this is the index that we added posts title index. Now in table plus, let's go ahead and actually delete all these tables right here. We're going to switch to VS code. And now we're going to imagine that we are in production, right? We developed and created all these migrations in local dev, right? Now we're pushing to staging or production. And now we have a command, right? That we put in a package.json right here npm run migrate prod let's go ahead and run it and now this command will just check uh, migrations folder against uh, the migrations table in the database and check which ones are run or which ones are not read and it's just going to run it so now if we switch to the table plus again we click on refresh and again, we got users and posts um, tables created and with all our changes and updates, right? We have summary column with a double M and then we have our indexes on the posts, ta posts table and our content is a text. This is how you can use Prisma migrations in your development flow. If you would like to learn how uh, Prisma migrations compare to SQLize migrations, please check out this video about SQLize migrations. Thank you for watching and I will see you next time.